everyone, it's Misty, and today we're going to be reading My Little Pony, Set Your Sail, Issue 2. Well, Izzy, when we got an invite from the sparkling sea ponies to come visit their kingdom, did you think this was how our trip was going to go? Hmm, gotta say, the pony napping is a surprise. Ooh, let us out! Maybe this is just a sea pony's way of saying hello. You know, like sometimes Sparky says hello by accidentally setting soft surfaces on fire... No offenses, but if this is the sea pony's way of saying hello, I don't think I want to meet them. We have got to get out of here. Any chance you could magic the ties loose? Izzy? It's no use. The knot is too powerful. You're kidding me, right? Ugh, this is why mom should have sent Zip instead of me. This kind of stuff never happens to her. I could be releasing my new song right now. I could be changing the lives of my followers, but no, instead I had to do my royal duty. Ah, Pip, you gotta look on the bright side, which is maybe the crew of the Galloping Ghost will save us. Or maybe the onion is actually an onion. When, when my followers find out about this. Trust me, princess. We want everybody to hear about this. Creeping Jenny, what were you hiding? This doesn't make any sense. Zip, dear, there you are. My goodness, have you been here since breakfast? I know how much you like your books, but breaks are important now and again. I know, I know. I'm just trying to sort out a mystery. Well, this should take your mind off things for a moment. I just got a message from Pip. They arrived safely at the sparkling sea. Arrive safe and sound. Signal bad. We'll update as soon as I can. Kisses. XOXO Pip. Why did it come from an unknown number? Oh, she said something about her phone getting wet. I told her to get a waterproof case before she left, but did she listen? Anywho, I'll send this to you. Maybe you can figure out how to post an update to one of Pip's accounts. Just let her fans know she's still on vacation. I'm sure she'd appreciate it, considering the signal's so bad down there. Mom, I'm not really the influencer type. And Pip said she wasn't the princess type. Yet somehow I think you both managed to surprise yourself. Now darling, I expect to see you at dinner. Found a whole box of them. Some pony had dumped out near the rip. I think the currents might have taken some of them to the surface. What were you doing out there, Anemone? Those currents have been known to drag ponies to the darkest, most unknown parts of the ocean. Hey, no need to go all mom on me, sis. I'm careful. It's just, you know, sometimes cool stuff washes up there. Like from other kingdoms? From the ruins of other kingdoms, you mean? From the ruins of other kingdoms, you mean? Ruins that the trench ponies caused, might I add? You read Creeping Jenny's newest book, didn't you? Don't you think it's weird we can't find any copies of the first three volumes anymore? I don't remember the trench ponies being so well, vicious, I guess. I think it's weird you care so much. Besides, you should remember, this new story is just like the ones Mom used to tell us. Long ago, the seven seas were full of wonder and hope hope and wonder. But then those who lived in the deepest trenches, unhappy with their cold and lightless ocean, rode the currents out of the darkness. From the deck of their wicked ship, this darkness began to take that which was not rightfully theirs, the anchors of the seven seas, the source of each kingdom's magic, the coral crown from the great inland sea, the sea dragon scale from sea dragon rift, the moon pearl from Luna Ocean, the agate geode from Celestia Ocean, the sand dollar from the Sea of Clouds. One by one, these anchors were taken, and one by one, the kingdoms fell, until only the sparkling sea, with its starfish sea glass, was left. But when they came from the depths for our anchor, we fought back, and though it was too late to save the other kingdoms...
We remain as the guardians of the stolen anchors until such a time as we can find the last anchor, the seventh anchor belonging to the trench ponies themselves, and reunite the seven seas. Do you like practice that in front of a mirror or... Very funny. I want to find it. The last anchor, I mean. I want to restore the other kingdoms and reopen the pathways between us. Imagine a sea pony express that didn't go like two nautical miles. Next stop, uncharted waters. Anemone, focus. Right now the sea pony express is a crime scene. I'm just glad I ordered shore and sand to patrol the areas close to the currents, or we never would have heard about the pony napping. Not when we weren't expecting the princess for another week. Some pony must have intercepted our original invitation. SNS said they delivered it to the currents to take topside, so it had to be some pony who knew the tides well enough to stop it and then replace it with the one SNS found in the wreckage of the Sea Pony Express. It's why the book is so interesting. The handwriting on the cover matches that counterfeit invite exactly. Well, I bought us some time to get to the bottom of this before any pony figures out something is amiss. With the ersatz enchantment. Mom always said that was only for emergencies. You've been using it an awful lot lately. And so what if I have? How else am I supposed to keep the sparkling sea from darkness, from rot? So you lied to them. Princess Pip isn't safe. We don't even know where she is. I didn't lie. I just polished the truth a little to avoid an international incident. Sometimes lying is the right thing to do, Anemone. If you were queen, you'd understand. Besides, it's not like any pony will pay close enough attention to notice something amiss. We'll have the whole thing sorted out before you can say, What do you mean, another princess? A squid ink spill. Uh, yep, yep, just totally blocking the track. Nothing moving in or out today, I'm afraid. Nothing moving, not today. Well, maybe I could just swim there. To the sparkling sea? I'm afraid it's too far, your highness. At least a four, maybe five-year journey. Four years, maybe five. Could be six if the tides are angry. Through shark-infested, shipwrecked waters, it's really no place for a princess. Ah, sorry. Sometimes the currents are a bit hard to manage. Currents? Oh yeah, they're the fastest way to get around. A bit unpredictable, maybe, but that's never stopped me before. Anyway, I'm glad I caught you. The uh, squid ink spills a bit more involved than we thought. And listen, if I'm being honest, my sister wasn't really expecting any more visitors, so we don't have folks to spare for cleanup at the moment. Not until we finish showing Princess Pip around anyway. Er, I'm sorry about all this, and after you got all magicked up to come down here and everything. No, I mean, I should be the one apologizing. You weren't expecting me, and I just... I got a weird message from my sister, and I wanted to make sure she was okay. Maybe I overreacted a bit. Listen, your sister and your friend are going to be fine, I promise. And when I promise something, I mean it. Well, I appreciate it. Oh, Anemone. Princess Anemone. But you know, maybe you wouldn't mind using these currents to give me a little tour. I just came all this way. And I wouldn't want my sister to have all the fun. Tell me, princess, just how many followers do you have? I, I, somewhere around 70 million. Think they'll notice if you're not around anymore? Um, I think a lot of ponies would be really upset if we died. Died? What makes you think? <laughs> what makes you think we want to hurt you? I find it hard to believe that creep being dragged to a creepy sunken ship menaced with, with whatever that thing is. And having weird threats gargled at us are overtures of friendship. Gargled? Oh, it's them blasted vocal fries. Get on with ye phlegm pillagers. And now, 
for some proper introductions. This year is Clipper, that's Riggs, that mangy pile of netting is Blige, fastest first mate there ever was, and that'll be the twins, ballast and stores, keepers of anything that needs keeping. <clears throat> One of you moldy mateys gonna introduce me, or do I have to do everything myself? Shiver me withers, this is the great Captain Starboard, tamer of the trench and master of this year's ship, the proudest pile of planks in the seven seas. I think I'm having a hallucination from exposure to deep sea bubbles. How did you know that? Pip, don't you get it? First introduced in the limited edition Galloping Ghost Holiday prequel, It's a Waterful Life. These are the trench ponies. Did you bring us here for a meet and greet? Are there other fans aboard? Are we going to get to see the shuddering Scully? Will there be a photo op with Firth and Fathom? Izzy, I know those questions mean a lot to you, but I have something more pressing I'd like to know. Why did you pony nap us? Well, you see, it's like this, Lass. We need your help. Are you going to tell us how you are outcast from the deep, exiled from a forgotten home, left to fend for yourselves in a hostile waters, desperate to restore the once great kingdom and be the heroes you know you were? If only you could just remember what happened before the accident left you shipwrecked? I quite like your salty yarn, but no. What we need help with is revenge. I should have mentioned the currents can cause a little seasickness. <clears throat> or a lot of seasickness. I think I'm okay now. What is this place? It's gorgeous. It's considered the crown jewel of the sparkling sea. Welcome to Pearlscape Park. What's over there? When my sister Calla Lily was born, our mom gave us this plot of ocean. Calla Lily always loved gardening. These saltwater taffy trees were grown from sugar seeds, and if you look over here, you'll notice... Oh, you found our school of pega crabs. Are they supposed to look like that? Like what? They seem totally normal to me. We grow lots of our own food. We've got candy corn stalks, peanut butter, and jelly beans. What are those? Butterscotch bonnets, sweet and spicy peppers. Want to try one? Are they supposed to have sand inside? Mm-hmm. Totally delicacies of the sparkling sea. Some pony is coming. She sure does know how to make an entrance. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Princess Zip. It was so thoughtful you'd have come join your sister. Yeah, about that. Where is Pip exactly? Sis, is Pip still out with our advisors touring the kingdom? Yes. Um, <clears throat> yes. Pip and her companion are meeting with some of our citizens, hearing about life in the sparkling sea, that sort of thing. Can I see her? Why aren't you with her? You're too clever for me, Zip. Our kingdom is in trouble, and I think Pip might be our only hope. We need to forge an alliance with your land kingdom for help. Many years ago, most of the seven seas were destroyed by power-hungry ponies who blamed others for their misfortune. We were little, but we saw how scared our people were, how frightened our mom was, but we couldn't do anything. We could only watch as our world was destroyed, one kingdom at a time. The sparkling seas survived, in part due to our mom's magic and our resolve. The others weren't so lucky. Their anchors were stolen, their power drained, their citizens scattered. 
anchors. Each kingdom has an anchor, a mystical touchstone that enhances our magic. They protect us from harm, amplify our personal magic, and keep our waters calm. Without them, I fear the seas will grow more and more turbulent until until the land above us begins to feel their wrath. Kind of like our unity crystals. Precisely, I learned about your unity crystals in my research on how we might prevent the destruction from escalating. That's uh, exactly why I brought Pip here, to see what we could learn from her about how they might work, how we might come together to keep both our homes safe. What kind of danger are we talking about? Water is the most healing and most destructive force in the world. If the unrest isn't settled, all the land kingdoms would be at risk for total annihilation. Let's catch the current back to our palace. We can start working on an information exchange. Hey, you okay? Right as a riptide. So, so, I know we just met and I'm kind of a total stranger, but you can talk to me. Things seem strange here. And if there's anything I can do, you can ride the next current with me. Let's see if we can catch up with your sister. Ahoy there, squids squids and scoundrels. This is DJ Darkwater coming at you live from our secret base in the briny deep. So pull up a clamshell and settle in for a few hours of tunes, starting with a classic from pirate radio favorite, Pit Petals. If I'd known you were pony napping the princess today, I would have cleaned up. Hi, hello. Come in, don't mind the mess. It's just how we live. I'm Maris the Crow, General Busybody, host of our little radio station, usually up to no good. So is it true then? You're really going to help us? Uh, I'm not sure. Captain Starboard explained some of it, but I'm sure she left you more confused than a unicarp swimming sideways in a fishing net. You've got the attention of almost every pony on land and sea. You're a princess, a pop star. They trust you. All ponies need to know what's happening down here. We need some pony like you to get our message out before it's too late. The sparkling sea is out to get us. And if they succeed, you landlubbers are next. Okay, so that is the end of issue two. Um, Not a whole lot to say. This was a really good build-up issue. We got the sides of both the trench ponies and the sparkling sea. And, you know, at this point, to me, I wouldn't really say there's a villain. Some people would say Calla Lily's kind of shaping up to the antagonist. But that's kind of a stretch, in my opinion, on this. Um, But, yeah, I just thought the story was really well written. And that's it. I'll see you guys for issue three. Okay. See you next week. Bye.